So if you're having trouble with your steering wheel shaking while you're applying the brakes, it's most likely one of three things. Now if you see this exploded view, I'm going to go through how to fix that in order from least expensive to most expensive. And least would start with the guide pins, which you see in red, followed by the brake pads in blue, and then the rotors in that off-colored yellow. Now, one thing you might want to check to begin with is the tire pressure and also see that your weights are still on the edge of your rim. Or if you have the ones with the adhesive backing, check to see if that they're still inside the rim. So take off your tire. Here I'm using an impact gun, but of course you don't need one. Just make sure you're doing everything safely. And pop the hood open and remove the cap from the master's reservoir because there's a chance that the thing could explode on you and you collapse the brakes. I've only seen it happen once, but why take the chance if it's that easy to take off? In this case, you can see that the person who was the owner of the vehicle kept adding brake fluid after the brakes kept wearing down. So I'll talk about how to get that brake fluid out without making a mess. Now here's what you get when you take off the tire. We want to collapse the piston so that we can get the brake caliper off. And there's these two holes, you see one above, one below. That's where you're going to put in your pry bar. And if you're going to reuse the brakes, just be careful that you're not prying against the braking material because you don't want to crumble that off. But you're just going to use slow, even, steady pressure. And eventually you'll be able to move the brake over, as you see in this picture. From there, you're going to take off the upper and lower caliper bolts. And again, those are the ones in the orange that you see in this picture. There you go. Have that one taken off. You can do the same thing on the bottom. And then you're going to hang the caliper up out of the way. You don't want to let it dangle because you don't want any unnecessary pressure on the rubber brake hose. So you may have to undo another uh, bolt as you see here in this photo. Now here are the guide pins. There's rubber boots that hold them into place. And these are the same uh, pieces of hardware that hold the caliper on with those orange bolts I showed you earlier. So you're going to pop those off and clean them up and then use a specific type of grease. This is Molly B denim grease. Lube them back up and then you're going to put them back into place and put everything back together. Just make sure that you pump the brakes before you start the car. Otherwise you're going to press on the brake pedal and nothing's going to happen the first time you move it. All right, so that covers the guide pins. Now, while you have everything apart, if you want to change out the brake pads, go ahead and do that. It's very easy to do once you have everything. But here's a photo that shows the old brake pad on one side and the new one on the other. Now there's a slot on the brake pad on the new one, and that's the wear indicator. You can see that it's completely gone on the old one. But there's a metal tab that usually gives you a warning that your brake pads are about to uh, go out. And that tab you want to put on the piston side of your caliper. So let's go through how to change your brakes there. So here's the caliper and a C-clamp. I just take one of the old brake pads and I, I alternate back and forth between the two pistons making sure that uh, I'm putting them down evenly. Now, that's the reason we took off the cap on the master cylinder to begin with, so we don't explode that. And one other tip, you only want to do this one side at a time. You don't want to do both sides at the same time because when you compress these pistons, you can actually push out the pistons on the other side. And getting them back in is fairly difficult. So, here we go. Everything's all compressed. If your pads have the adhesive backing on them, you want to clean off the piston cups. And then just put everything on. Uh, like you took it off. Sometimes you'll get those metal clips that are above and below. If you get those, replace them. But make sure that you put that wear tab on the piston side. Here we are removing the adhesive backing. And that was replacing your brakes. So let's say that doesn't do the trick and you want to replace your rotors as well. You're going to have to take off the bolts that hold the caliper bracket on. Now these bolts are put on with Loctite, so you're only going to get them off with a breaker bar or an impact gun. If you don't have either of those, you're going to have to use a torch, but it takes a lot of force to take those off. So here's an example. 
of using a torch, just be careful that you're not frying any wires like for your analog brake system. Here's a photo of me taking off the bracket and the photo of the bolts with the Loctite on them. Clean those off real good. You don't want to put Loctite or reapply new Loctite on old Loctite. It's not going to be very effective. But as you're taking things apart, you may want to use some WD-40 and start loosening things up as you start to get to what you need to get to. Now, you see those two holes on either side of the hub? Those holes help pry off the rotor. And if you use the same bolts that you took off when you removed the caliper, you can insert those into each hole and tighten them, alternating back and forth, and it'll help pry off the rotor, as you can see here. Sometimes you'll have another bolt, like a Torx bolt, that you need to remove in order to, to get everything off. So if you do need that, just remove that. Then here we go. The rotor's taken off. There's a possibility you can take the rotor to a shop and get them machined. For the hassle, I always just replace it. Uh, depending on the shop you take it to, it's between $15 and, I don't know, maybe $30 to get them turned. But oftentimes they'll tell you that you can't turn them. There's actually a stamping on the inside of the rotor that tells you how much uh, needs to be left and the minimum uh, tolerance for that. But I almost always just replace them. So here's the bolts. I use red Loctite. Make sure you follow the specifications. And then you want to put everything back together just like you took it apart. So there's the brake pads, put back in the, the guide pins, tighten everything back up. And here we are back at the master reservoir. So what I do is I roll up a paper towel and then I just put it down right in the center of the reservoir and I let the paper towel soak up any excess brake fluid. And I keep doing that until I have the level that I need. Here it is all back together, nice and shiny. Now here's a little tip. To put on a tire, you offset the tire to the hub, you put a pry bar underneath it, and then you roll the tire up onto the pry bar, and then you just pull up, and it helps adjust the hole so that you can get everything into place. Put your lug nuts back on, put your tire back on, and then, of course, make sure that you pump the brakes. Very important, otherwise nothing will happen when you apply the brakes for the first time. Now, if you're doing this in the rear, same thing, you're going to have to use a torch or a breaker bar uh, to get the bracket off, but uh, still make sure you're being careful. And sometimes the brake pads, uh, at least the caliper rather, the caliper won't compress with a regular C-clamp. There are some models that you have to use a pair of needle nose pliers and you'll find these holes that are on the opposite side of the piston cups. You have to push with the pliers and twist at the same time in order for it to collapse. Those are a real pain, but you can get it done. So here's the rear. Also shows the emergency brakes, but it's very simple. Uh, you can probably find another YouTube video for that. So there you go. If you have trouble with your steering wheel shaking when you apply the brakes, it's most likely the guide pins, the brake pads, or the rotors. Good luck.